machine building companies are facing the challenge that the corona crisis comes on top of a downturn in the industry which already began in 2018. In 2019, the order entry and therefore the order backlog in the industry declined throughout the entire year. Main reasons for the 2019 downturn were the trade wars and sanctions, a reluctance to invest due to the Brexit, or the power tra uh, train transformation as well as overcapacities in the automotive industries, a below expectation growth of the Chinese economy. We must keep in mind that most of the reasons will remain relevant. All realistic scenarios considering the corona impact on the GDP as well as the order intake of machine building companies assume a significant decline in 2020 and 2021. Most companies already organized the survival mode and quickly responded to the corona crisis with short-term measures, for example, to reduce capacity and labor costs or to ensure supply chain continuity and quick win measures to reduce costs and improve the cash position. Therefore, most executives in the industry must be sure to focus on the transformation which already started before the corona crisis. So, what are the strategic measures we suggest based on numerous executive interviews and our current projects with machine building companies? Number one, streamline the organizational structure. As mentioned, most machine builders implemented short-term cost reduction measures, but they did not address inefficiencies that are associated with the organizational structure. Since the Lehman crisis, Overhead was added in corporate functions, business units and regional units. There is a huge potential in streamlining the organizational structure. It should be clear who is having a governance, a business development, a coordinating or a transactional service role. Just as important is the sizing and distribution of the resources across the world. This is not only important in times of margin pressure, in the light of digital and standardized processes, as well as volatile markets, this is also key. Number two, COVID-19 will drive digitalization, especially in sales. The customer journey will become more multi-channel, more digital, with less physical meetings, less travel, all resulting in the need to change the sales organization, the go-to-market strategy, and the approach. Number three, the resilience of the supply chain must be improved. In many companies it becomes obvious that the supply chain restart will require a high level of transparency and coordination with regards to the availability of manufacturing sites, suppliers logistics capacities and parts or materials. In combination with fluctuating demands on the customer side, most supply chain organizations will be overwhelmed. For many months and years, the demand and supply side will remain volatile, not just through Corona. Supply chains will have to be more flexible and more transparent. Fully digitalized and harmonized ERP systems will be required to ensure efficiency. Number four, the crisis will generate opportunities to take over business from competitors due to customer dissatisfaction, attractive M&A opportunities or even insolvencies. Therefore, it is important to have clear strategic directions in place and focus business development as well as sales on those opportunities. Number five, COVID-19 will be a strong catalyzer for digital business models. We expect that subscription, pay-per-use and remote service business models will find more acceptance with customers, especially in these uncertain times on the demand side. 